Died horribly. You know what, Louise? You're developing a nasty streak, and that kind of thing doesn't go down well with foster parent types, says the Lady Mayoress of Reject City. That was the old me. I've changed. And what better sign than a brand new outfit? Oh, clothing allowance day. <laughs> Big deal. We can just about afford a pair of socks between us. Ah, but unlike some people, I've been saving up. I'm going to go into town on my special trip today with Jenny. My reward will be the swishest, swankiest outfit ever. It may be hard to make up my mind, but Jenny's pretty hot stuff in fashion. All right, Jenny, show me the money. <coughs> Jenny? Hi. You must be Tracy Beaker. And you are? Leah, the temporary care worker. Pleased to meet you. What's happened to Jenny? She's in hospital, in groin toenail. What, so no one's in charge? Well, I'm in charge, actually. Oh, no, seriously! I find that very hurtful, Tracy. Well, I don't like this Lee person. She's bound to disrupt things. We're all very sensitive, you know. A lot of us come from broken homes. Her name is Leah, and I hope you'll give her a fair chance. That went surprisingly well. Uh-oh. Beaker alert. Can't believe you're wasting your time on stupid ball games. Haven't you seen her? Seen who? Temporary care worker. How can you be so casual? Temporary care worker? Don't those words mean anything to you? Look, what do you do in school when a student comes and teaches you? Um, make every waking moment a nightmare. See? At least there are people who still believe in traditional values. OK, Baker, what's the plan? You've met Tracy, then. She's all right, really. They all are. As crazy as a box of frogs, but a great bunch. I'm sure you're right. You see, you can have all the training and qualifications you like. But the secret of being good at this job is experience. You've got to be as friendly and as open as is reasonable. What, you mean something like getting them all together for a meeting to introduce myself properly? Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea, yeah. Great, well, thanks for the suggestion. I'll call a meeting. You met the temporary care worker then? Not really, but she looks OK. Well, we've heard some terrible stories about her. Yeah. And the last time she worked in, they caught her using the cane. She won kids so hard, she left splinters in his bottom. She had to go to prison. Thing is, they let her keep the cane. So, you seen me and them? Yes, she seems nice. Nice? I bet she fooled the army into thinking she was nice. The army? Didn't you know she used to be in the army? Oh. But isn't she a bit too young for that? That's it, you see. She was only in for a few months. They had to let her go. She was too crazy. And then she was a bouncer in this nightclub, but they had to sack her because she beat up that film star. You know, the one that was in that film with that woman? And, and, um, and then... You're not very good at this, are you? Um. This is a big idea, isn't it? We're going to do this, we better do it properly. 
Well, well. Look what they're sending us these days. Huge! <laughs> Hiya! A tattoo? Yeah, I got these a couple of years ago in Thailand. Oh. Have you met all the kids yet? Crazy is a box of frogs, but they're a great bunch if you give them a fair chance. Yeah, I've heard that. Do you know what I'd do if I were you? I'd have a getting to know you session without me or Mike being there. Well, I, uh... Well, think about it. Better go. Work to do. Yeah. Peter, Maxie, Leo wants to talk to you. I haven't done anything! Um, then wanted me to help him with his homework. Oh, yes. Tired of getting A's all the time. Fancy a bit of a change. Ben? Joke. Sorry, Peter. It's okay. It was quite funny in a nasty sort of way. Come on, Maxie, let's go. Hi, Tracy. Well, when you be ready for my shopping trip? Can't you wait till Jenny gets back? So I'm supposed to walk around in my underwear? I think I could cope with the shopping trip. Well, I don't know. Jenny's very good at that kind of thing. She's got a great understanding of the kind of things a girl like me really needs. She can scarcely afford a pocket calculator, let alone a computer. Well, let's face it, Linda, or whatever your name is, you hardly look like an expert in retail therapy. Leah! Adele. <laughs> Hello, Hello Mary. Baby. What are you doing here? I'm so good to see you. I'm just here for the week. Uh, are you all right? Yeah. Tracy, are you coming to the Get to Know You meeting? I think I know you as well as I need to. Excuse me, I have a shopping trip to prepare for. Helping out in the garden. Might have been an idea to wash your hands and change your wellies. Was she here, Tars? What about this meeting then? Well, uh, yeah, as you know, my name is Leah. Um, perhaps you could tell me a bit about yourselves. You mean you haven't read our notes? Very unprofessional. If you can't be bothered to read our notes, I bet she doesn't even know the normal rules. Rules? See, we all have emotional problems, so you being here instead of Jenny could be quite upsetting. So we need to be treated with kid gloves. Well, of course. And we're allowed to stay up late to watch TV, because we're too upset to sleep. And no baths in case we catch a cold. Just let me... Uh... And I suppose you'd also forgotten about the extra £10 pocket money rule to help us cope with the emotional distress. Only £10? Well, that's up to you, of course. Oh, yeah, and you're not allowed to discuss this with Mike and Duke. No, of course not. What, anything else? Takeaways for tea. OK. What kind? Indian. Fish and juice. Chinese. Can you run that by me again? Fish and juice. Indian. OK, got all that. Uh, is there anything else I should know? The um, free run of amusement arcade rule, perhaps. Uh, the no getting up before midday rule. The no chores until you feel quite up to it rule. Please, miss. We've washed our hands. Oh, hi, you two. Uh, the name's Leah. Right. Now we've got all the rules out the way, and we have got them completely out of the way, haven't we? Good. Does anyone have any questions? Peter? How many people did you shoot? <laughs> what? Maxie? What was it like in prison? Prison? Well, you know how it is your very first exotic holiday and suddenly you find yourself suspended in a bamboo cage above a steaming swamp with murderers and, and madmen all around you. The angry sun beating down on your shaven head, snapping mercilessly beneath you in the jaws of a thousand crocodiles. Good. Now I've got your attention. Do you think we can have a proper meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, Tracy, ready for the off? Yeah, and so's Ben. Ben? What? Yeah, Ben. Well, if you can't keep track of residents in a home as small as this, maybe you shouldn't be in this job. There, there, Ben. This is always happening to him, always getting left behind, having his name missed off lists. No wonder he wets the bed. Ben Batambuzi? Hi, Duke's told me all about you. You live just down the road, don't you? Yes. <laughs> well... Don't be off. <laughs> Let's go, quick. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be my special trip. I 
thought it might be nice to organise a little expedition. You know, take me back to my army days. So, enjoy your meeting. Disaster. She's too clever for us. That's it. You've been allowing her to be too clever. I think it's time we go back to basics. Checking the book. <laughs> Tracy, what if she gets in trouble? Do you think this tops me? Tracy, Lee's got your money. Oh well. And we're going to get in trouble, and she's going to get in trouble, and... She's getting a bit too big for her boots. <laughs> oh, caught on two little wind-ups, did she? I have no idea what you mean. Leah knows every scam in the book. She probably invented most of them. What are you talking about? When I was Maxie's age and I had to go into care for the first time, Leah looked after me. Oh, don't be silly. She can't have been a care worker that long. She's not old enough. She wasn't a care worker. She was a resident. Y you mean... She was one of us. Exactly, one of us. Who's managed to do something with her life. And you're helping to get her in serious trouble. Yeah, I realise that, Duke. I, I know. But the car got far. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry. I'll call you back. Aren't we supposed to be going shopping? Well, we arranged to meet up at the post office. Didn't we tell you? <sighs> Do you remember that time you tried to convince Duke you're allergic to carrots? <laughs> With a fake tan from the chemist, I turned bright orange. Mind you, the dirt was almost on me. I came that close to having my stomach pumped. Nasty? Wow. What was Duke like when he was younger? You should have seen him. There was this one time he came up. Duke! I, I was meant to call you, wasn't I? Things got. Well, I found them. It's all a wind up. Imagine that. I've been driving like a madman. I've been thinking all sorts of. We'll talk later, Leah. Oh, come on, Duke. Lighten up. You know, your trouble, you won't give people a fair chance. Huh? 